What's going on everyone? You're back with your boy Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to learn how to divide by a ratio or split things unevenly. So usually when we divide something, we're dividing something into even groups. So an example of this would be 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. If we have a look at what each part of that equation actually means, 18 is the total amount of people and 3 is the number of groups that I want. 6 is going to be how big those groups are. So 6 plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 18. So that's how this division's worked. 18 divided by 3 means I need 3 even groups that equal up to the total amount. So this can obviously help us in real life situations. Say if you and a mate work somewhere and you made $180 and you want to split the cash between you. All you've got to do is 180 divided by 2, which is equal to 90. So I'm taking 180, dividing it into 2 even groups, which is equal to 90. 90 plus 90 is that 180. Everybody walks away with the exact same amount of money. Happy days. But sometimes we don't want to split something evenly. What if you worked way harder than your friend in that last example? Why should they get the same amount of money as you? So that's where dividing by a ratio becomes really important. So because we worked harder, we still want to split the money between two people, but we want to have an unequal amount. It still needs to equal up to that initial $180, but I need more of the money. I did more work, so why should we get the same amount? So let's say in this example, you work twice as hard. So we're gonna say it's a ratio of two to one. So you need twice as much money. Instead of 90 each, you need twice as much. So the two and the one, they're gonna be our groups or our parts. So instead of splitting it into two equal parts, we're gonna split it into three. So two plus one. Once we've found those parts, that's where the math starts to happen. Because there's three of them, I'm doing 180 divided by three. So this is gonna give us three equal portions of $60 each. But because you worked two of those portions, you get 60 times two, which is 120 of the dollars. Your friend only worked for one of those portions, so they do 60 times one, $60. And now we can check that we split the money. 120 plus 60 is 180. You work twice as hard and you've got twice as much money. So this example does make sense. And this is much fairer than just splitting the money because you did do more work and you've been paid more as a result. When we have a ratio of two to one, you work twice as hard, these questions can be a little bit easy. But this time you didn't work as hard. We're gonna split this money at a ratio of four to five. So we've gotta work out what one part is equal to. Four plus five is equal to nine and we're gonna use that nine to divide the total amount into each individual part. 180 divided by nine is gonna be $20. And you earned four parts of that total amount. So 20 times four is equal to 80. That's how much you're going home with. Your friend did five parts, so 20 times five, and that's equal to $100. Again, we should always check 80 plus 100 is equal to 180. And we said that your friend did more work so it makes, so the steps for getting these correct is firstly, we've got to find out all the parts in the question. And this just means adding everything of the ratio together. This is going to be what we divide the total amount by. And that's our second step. From there, we just have to multiply what one part is to how much you actually deserve or what the question is asking for. My final big pro tip is please, please, please check your answer at the end all the parts should equal up the total amount at the very start. And if it doesn't, you've made a mistake somewhere. So these four steps, find the parts, divide, multiply, are everything that you need in order to get these questions right. We're gonna look at another example with three parts to the ratio this time. So a soccer goalie faced 224 shots on goal for the whole season. And her ratio were four catches, three deflections, and one goal scored. And we wanna work out how many of each actually happened for the whole season. So instead of writing all this information out every single time, we're gonna say the ratio is four to three to one, and we're looking at 224 shots on goal. So what I've gotta do first is find out how many parts I've got. Four plus three plus one is equal to eight, and that's gonna be my divider. 224 divided by eight is equal to 28. That's one part. And we know from the question straight away that the goals is only one part of the whole thing. So we can work out pretty quickly, hey, 28 goals were scored, that's it. Now if I'm looking for my deflections, I've got 28, one part, multiplied by three. 28 multiplied by three is 84, and that's how many shots were deflected out of bounds as they came into the goalie. Finally, we've got to work out how many she caught cleanly. 
4 times 28 is 112, and that is how many she caught. All we've got to check is that these three numbers add up to that 224 we started with. Again, I would just do this on your calculator, but 28 plus 84 plus 112 is equal to 224. Big tick, we know we got this answer right. So these questions can look a little bit overwhelming sometimes because there's colons, there's heaps of information, we're dividing things unevenly, but all we've got to do is add up all the parts of the ratio, find the parts, divide the total by the number of parts to find one part, and then multiply to what you need to. Please always check your answer at the end with a little bit of addition. I guarantee it's worth the wait, but I think you're gonna find this lesson pretty easy. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later.